Hey Divas, it's your favorite Diva gal, Miss B. McCarthy, here right underneath the Empire State Building in New York City. I am here to give the sneak peek of season two of Outsiders. So come along with me and let's get the scoop. Right. So I'm gonna start off with a little icebreaker. So I'm gonna say a word or a phrase and the first thing that comes out your mouth, spit it out. Okay. okay. First, relationships. Hassle. Peace. 2016. Drake. <laughs> uh, six star, come on, six star, what you mean? That wasn't to Drake, that was to, oh my god. So okay, well, things that are happening right now okay, in the sex. world. Good. Good. Well, that brings you to my next question. <laughs> Done. Done. Say, acceptable. <laughs> Preferred. You know, the romance, yes. the romance yes. scene in season one yeah. was really... Romantic. <laughs> so um, a lot of our, your viewers, our readers are really, they were really talking about the sex scene and they want to know what is going to happen in season two. Will the love, the affection will still continue for the next season? Oh, we're just talking about this. Um, will it continue? We try. We try. We're, we're trying to, uh, the, you know, honeymoon phase is over. I don't, I don't think that uh, we kind of get back to uh, what viewers expect. Mm -hmm. You're definitely gonna see these two grow up and have to make some very um, hard decisions. And so. Yeah. This is more about trying to figure life out right yeah, now. Yeah, right. yeah. Life so comes it's, crashing down on these two pretty hard. I think people fell in love with us falling in love and now mm -hmm. you uh, kind of see the aftermath of them trying or you know, kind of giving up what it is that uh, you saw in season one. So, it's not to say can't come back. Just saying. Right. <laughs> so my question is for you, Christina. So that scene where you found out that you're pregnant, what, how did you prepare for that scene? And what can you, what advice can you give for women who are going through the same thing as your character was going through as far as being in a relationship with their family is not happy with the relationship like what advice could you give for women like that what advice can i give to women who are who are in a relationship where family is not happy with it yeah i think that with uh hassle and sally and i think that people kind of get the fact that they're taboo because she's black and he's white mm -hmm. and that's not necessarily it it's more about two people who come from very different backgrounds um i think what we see with sally ann is she kind of drops everything to go with Hassel and, and then she gets up to the mountain and finds that that's not where her forever place is. So the advice that I would give to women who are in relationships with people that their family wouldn't deem acceptable is you, you kind of have to figure that out for yourself. Um, I think Sally Ann is very lucky because she ended up with someone who is very genuine and very caring, but that's not always the case. I think there is some truth to stereotypes and prejudices, and I think that it's worth listening to when yeah. people that you trust and love have reservations about someone, but that's something that you have to find out for yourself. So race plays a big issue in the relationship between the two characters. Mm -hmm. My next question is for you, Kyle. Yeah. Personally, you have <laughs> two sons, I believe. I do. So how do you teach your sons about tolerance, understanding, and most import importantly, race in the world? Um, well, they come from a you know they come from a tolerant home you know they come from tolerant parents um and you know i think that just that that rubs off on your on your on your kids i mean my kids are extremely extremely inquisitive and he, especially oliver he asks questions about everything oliver just asked actually, me if i'm black oliver actually oh, just answered yeah. she came out the other day and says are you you know are you black but it's not and he's seen me before mm -hmm. but it's because he has the black spider-man black spider-man uh, so it almost like segued into like a a kind of more now he's like a, a bigger you're, conversation you're like uh, yeah story. and now he sees it in books and it's yeah. like it's, that's awesome you, yeah. yeah and it, it just turns into a conversation about you know the the, the beauty of, of people and how people are different and exactly. also the same and you know um, so yeah I mean you just you that's something that has to be taught if you, if yeah. you I've seen pictures or I've, I've seen videos of children saying very hateful things, and that's something that's taught. Yeah, I so mean, it's like... I, I truly believe, you know, a lot of times kids can very much so be a product of their environment and, and mm -hmm. things like I mean, when something comes out of a kid's mouth that you're like, who told, <laughs> told you, you that? that? <laughs> you know, I mean, yeah, it's, yeah. It's, pretty, it's pretty obvious. So 
It is. It's just it's it's just very important to teach. You know, love is love, and people are people, and you know, be tolerant of, of everybody and give everybody a chance. And and Oliver's in a very interesting phase right now. Oh, wow. it's, it's it's pretty cool. It's very cool because it's opened up a lot of good conversations that you know create growth in him and 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 you know hopefully mold him into just a good man one day. That's awesome. Well, yeah. congratulations for you Thank for being you. a great Thank father. Thank 